After the long journey from South Korea, it didn't take long before the visitors checked into the Stormont Hotel and checked out the local sites ahead of the big fight. The Titanic Visitor Center was on the list. So too, the Belfast Peace Wall, where Lee and his interpreter left their mark. Queen's University and the Yard Fitness Centre, named after Belfast's famous shipyard Harland & Wolfe. Lee met the Lord Mayor of the city, Kate Nicholl, and his opponent, Johnny Smith, who saw the all-important champion's belt before moving on to Parliament buildings and a greeting from Northern Ireland's First Minister, Paul Given. The night before the fight, and time to get serious, the all-important weigh-in. Months of training saw both fighters in perfect shape for their world title shot, and both made the necessary welterweight limit. WKN guests and officials from all over Europe mingled with local kickboxing fans as the excitement grew. With large audiences still not permitted, this title drama would be played out at a gala black tie dinner show sold out weeks in advance. And this is what they've come to see, the main event of the evening, five three-minute rounds of kickboxing to decide the vacant WKN Professional World Welterweight Championship. And both fighters are determined to claim that title. After five frustrated attempts to stage this fight, we're finally ready to get it on. And what a way to end a distinguished refereeing career. The man in the middle, Bob Hunter from London. He's refereed fights all over the world. He's finally finishing his career right here in Belfast. The preliminaries are over. Bob Hunter brings them both to the center of the ring. And the fight is underway. 